What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you don't know that already, I love all things makeup and beauty. I'm also a mother, so I apologize in advance for my kids in the background. Um, today's video is going to be me trying out and using the new, well it's not new, but it's new to me, the Be Perfect Cosmetics Clientele Palette by Jaw, the makeup artist. So... Here's what it looks like. I got it and immediately touched every single shimmer inside of it. So, yeah. But this palette is really, really beautiful. And, like, there's just so much you could do with it. And, the, hey. like, the payoff of this palette is insane. So, this is the palette that I'm going to be doing this look today. So, if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to be taking my P. Louise base, and I'm going to be using this to prime my eyelids. The first shade that I'm going to be going into is this shade right here, and it is called Blush. So I'm going to be taking this on my Makeup Shack T87, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack the color in the front of my eye and also the back. This is going to be a halo eye, like a smoked out halo eye situation going on. Hey. I'm just gonna take this and kind of start flicking it outward. And then I am bringing all the colors right under my lashes right here. That way when I go with my under eyes, it like all connects. Next, I'm going to take this shade right here which is called sweet as just sweet as can be and this is and i'm going to be taking this one on my morphe m321 brush i'm going to be placing this in the same area that i placed that first shade this is such a pretty pink color it's like a flower so once that's nice and smoked out, I'll go in with the first brush to soften the edges and just blend those together. The next shade I'm going to be taking is this shade right here, which is called Gigi. I'm just taking this shade on a doe color brush. And I'm going to pack it in the same area, but I'm going to keep this lower. Since this is going to be one of the darker shades that we go in with. So I'm going to pack it in a circle shape first. S soften the edges a bit. And then I'll start to flick it out. And then I'm going to go back in with... Bless you! I'm going to go back in with Sweet As, which is the second shade that we used. And I'm going to blend that in, making sure that we're not losing any colors. And then I'm going to go back in with blush to further blend that out and just flare this out more. Then I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Just Black. And this is a Luxie 141 Mini Round Brush. I'm just going to softly blend this black in there. And then I'm going to go back in with all of the previous colors to further blend this all together. Alrighty, those are looking pretty darn even to me. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. Alrighty, so I just went ahead and just cleaned it with some Vaseline because I really want it to be nice and I want the base to be very clear and empty. And then my finger blend the 
edges. So then I'm going to go back in with the darkest, one of the darker colors, which is GG. And I'm going to further smooth everything. And then I'm going to go back in with Sweet As. And just do the same thing, kind of just pat it and pull it a little bit. And then I am going to go back in with the black shade because I want everything to be seamless. And then I'm going to take this shimmer shade right here which is called Boss and I'm going to just pack this down in the outer part. An inner part of this cut. Look how insane these shimmers are. Like, I don't gotta wet it or nothing. Usually I use like a, a glitter primer, but I don't even need to do that. And this is a Peaches and Cream PC31 brush. And then now I'm going to take this shimmer shade right here, which is called Lux. And I'm going to put this right in the center because I want it to be just a little bit lighter, like so. And now I'm going to go back in with Gigi right over that shimmer because I don't want any harsh edges. All right, now that that is how the blend I want, that didn't make no sense. Now that the blend is where I want it to be, I'm now going to take my Spoiled Lips Cosmetics Holy Grail Glitter Palette and I'm going to be taking this shade right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Glue, not my glitter glue, this is my lash glue, and I'm going to draw a line, that's where I want the glitter to go, and then I'm going to take my Jessup small shader brush, I'm going to take this brush to pick up the glitter, and just stick it down where I want it to go, and as you can see, that is a very thick, thick line, so I'm going to just... Press that glitter in. And then I'm going to take a spoolie and just kind of run it above and below the glitter line. All right, now that I have this eye on, I'm going to go ahead and do my face and then we'll come back and do the lashes and the lower lash line. I did my face all but my highlight because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So we're going to start with lashes. I'm going to go ahead and apply my lash glue to them. The lashes I'm using today are my sticks and sponge lashes, which I just stacked them. Um, so these are in um, 3D08 and D20, which look like this. Stacked. Okay, so I did my mascara, and then um, also I put some eyeliner on. And now I'm going to apply these lashes. Lashes are on. I also completed this eye. So I'm going to start by taking just black and I'm going to smoke this out right under my lash line. 
And then I'm going to take Gigi and blend that out right on top of it. And then sweet as. And I'm also blending all of these colors into this wing. All right, and then I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara. And this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. And then for my highlight today, I'm going to be taking my Ofra Cosmetics, and this is the Nikki Tutorials Collab in Glazed Donut. So I'm just gonna take this and really pack it into my inner corner. And then I'm gonna take my Makeup Shack T85 to get my brow bone. And then I'm also going to take a big fluffy brush cheeks we are done so this is the final look all nice and put together I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, I'm just so excited about my last three purchases which was the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette, the P. Louise Valentine's Collection palette, and then also this one, Be Perfect, you know, clientele palette. Um, I actually was wanting this palette for a really long time and then I finally justified buying it and the other two palettes. So, um, I'm really happy with my purchases. I'm really happy with the performance of this palette. As you can see, it's just it's stunning. Living my, living my best life every day, so that's great. Um, if you guys like me and you like my videos, don't forget to, you know, like and subscribe. And we're going to go ahead and roll the clip.